Can you all hear me? Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, we can start uh, the practical session. Uh, today's practical session uh, will be on <coughs> SAS. All right. SAS uh, practical session. <coughs> All uh, right. What is uh, the software called as SAS? Anyone? What is SAS? <clears throat> Statistical analysis. Statistical analysis. What is the rest? Software. Oh, not really. System. System, yes. Statistical. Analysis. System. So this is how the name has implied. <coughs> Actually, this is very old uh, software. <coughs> mm. This software is mainly old one and much versatile. Uh, need programming. Oh. The tough commands. So if you don't remember the set of commands, then it will be a problem. <clears throat> so, but it is much more flexible uh, compared to the other software like SPSS, Minitab, Strata, Statistica, uh, so many uh, systat, so many softwares are available. Those softwares are mainly <coughs> menu-driven softwares. <coughs> the SAS is uh, the program where you have to write the program or you have to insert the program. Nowadays, uh, popular one is called as R. Right nowadays, uh, our software, which is an open source, which is also similar to the SAS, the way you have to write the program. But in R, you have still people are uh, uh, correcting, uh, debugging. A lot of corrections have been made time to time. But in SAS, it is more rigid. Uh, but new versions are coming time to time. Now I think uh, the <clears throat> not like in earlier days. I am using SAS uh, since almost 1990. Uh, those days, uh, the almost in uh, during 1990s, uh, the the software price is one million, right? One million? No, I mean more than that. I couldn't remember that time. I'm talking about 1990. Then every year, uh, you'll have to renew the license. Year by year, you'll have to renew, but it takes about another 200 or 300 or 500,000. So thereafter, uh, then in, uh, in around 1995 to 2000 period, uh, pirated. Pirated version was available. Pirated version was available. <clears throat> then, in uh, roughly in uh, thereafter, in 2010, I think 2010, then they have released a version called as University Student Version.
university version now in 2020 this university version is not there you have to register for online version so my old computer i had i have this pirated version right that is at home that is a little bit different i mean <clears throat> then i have used uh, this uh, university version also now problem is you have to register and uh, do the sas online so if you have online that is uh, the internet connection only you can do it right now we will go back to the uh, sas program once you open the sas program it will appear something like this right how many of you have already in the sas program can you all see the uh, slide the sas program yes okay uh, so uh, how, so you can see right how many of you have uh, already worked with the sas program yes one or two yes uh, right uh, i heard uh, i learned that uh, at the time of the introduction was given you have not installed with the sas program therefore i will just briefly give the introduction also right in the sas program actually you could see several windows are there so basically, uh, on the left side, right, on the left side, that is about the folders. As usual, you can see the folders. In my case, uh, the folders are empty. I didn't install anything. But recently, I got this uh, version also. So that uh, these are something to do folder. Later on, you could see whenever you save your SAS with a name, uh, it will save it under this uh, special folder right so you could see it later so that is uh, during the saving process but there are other logs other windows you see here basically three windows are there one is called as a code window where under the code window we write the program we write the program i will let you know how to write the program little while in little while that is your uh, we are already in the program uh, uh, window the second window is called as log window in the log window what is happening is once you submit the program after submitting after submitting a program so <clears throat> we will ask the computer to run this program before right we'll have to write all the uh, program right so once you submit program will i mean a computer will run the program when it runs it will get some information for example what is the time period it takes to run the program is there is any problem in uh, some data is there is any missing data right all these error there may be some error i will show you what is here then uh, likewise all these information can be read under the log program the third one the window which shows the results so once you submit the program the results will be appearing under the results window so these are the three windows so first window is code or the program window second window is a log it shows all the activities done by the computer and the last window is called as results window all the results will appear there you might have seen these windows before as well 
usually when you write the program i'm going to write the program it consists of three steps first step is called as it's end up with data steps data let's say example i can give the name for the data i can give the name for the data so when you in sas don't forget that when you write down the lines the lines have to be end up with semicolon if you miss it uh, the semicolon it will not run the program so that is very important so you can give any example uh, any name as such right uh, even you can give you a name no problem let's say tanush kumar right we can give any name no problem because computer accept this as the following information is uh, something to do with uh, tanush kumar just a name any name can be possible right so i will put it as example i will put it as ex1 na right that is the first line second line will indicate name of the variable that we are going to enter for example here we are going to name of the variable what are the variables that we are going to enter the data so each data we will have to assign a name later on we can simply say ah you do this for this uh, name you did this for this name and so on so that we will have to give the name we can assign any names right so that is the second step so that i will give a name for example here data i will say input in computer language input let's say x variable and y variable i hope everybody is uh, typing that x and y variable then i do take a uh, information called as cards cards mean after typing the cards right so this is the statement after that we indicating the program saying that after this the data will be followed right data will be followed it is written in three steps this is the step 2 in step 1 right this is the data steps this is called as data step so uh, rather than calling data steps i will give introductory step introduction step that is my first step then you enter the data then the third step is called as programming step that is your third step so it is comprised of three steps introduction entering the data then the program right right now i am going to enter the data x let's say can we take x and y variable height and weight can we take the height and weight already i have the program so i have yes this is my program so i have already prepared this program right height weight and uh, in addition to that we have name can you all see this can you all see this yes, yes. or no yeah right yes. okay okay fine
So can you take down this uh, the notes? Can you copy all this? Sir, I could not follow that screen, sir. I think some problem I think I have. Yeah, what about others? Uh, can you all see the screen? Yes, sir. Teri, uh, uh, can you all see the uh, screen clearly? This data, Ravi Kumar, Pushpa, sir. Kamala. Huh? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Paru, I'm going to get I will go out and come back again. Yes, sir. I am going to go to Zoom class. I am going to go to the video. I am going to go to the video. Right, right. right. Uh, we will see that. Uh... Uh, we will see that little later, right? But you can follow this, huh? right? Yes, sir. Right. You can follow one. I'm not going to do it. I'm ready 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 to do it. Right. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I think uh, everybody can see this. Uh, you... Uh, Follow this uh, and then you can try later, right? Because it is online SAS, no, I cannot say anything or how to be done. So here, the first step is, uh, as I said, the first step is date uh, introduction. The second step is data. So you see here, name, then height, then weight. Name, height, and weight. So after giving the command as cards, so the first coming is name. The second entry, it takes it as height. The third entry, it takes it as weight. Name, height, weight. Name, height, weight. Name, height, weight. Name, height, weight. like that. Right? Uh, there's another way of entering data. Right? For example, I will show it in the other program. Here. So we're not typed yet. Ah. Pardon? Not typed yet. I will come to that later. I will come to that screen later. You see, now input name, for example. Let's say weight, uh, uh, height, I will put it as HT, height, weight, HT. Now you see, I put a sign like this. What do you mean by this, at sign? Anyone? So here, I can enter like this, Ravi is, uh, height is 170, weight is let's say 67 kilogram. Then again, the second person, Mala, uh, height is 165 centimeter, weight is uh, 62 kilogram. Then, you can say Tilina. What is the difference here? Can somebody tell me what is the difference between earlier case and the present case? It's break the lines. Ah, you see, here I have mentioned the at sign. So when you say at sign, it indicates that the data is coming continuous, not in, in a single. Data is continuous in a single line. 
in the earlier case, every set of data we entered in each line separately. Here you see this is one set of data. Sorry. That is, this is uh, belongs to one set of information. This is belongs to one set of information. This is belongs to one set of information. All are coming in one line. Not, I mean, one line, maybe you can come down. So that means it is continuous. It says the data is continuing. You can enter the data in any way as you like. Right? Right. We will go back to the uh, our program that we are going to execute. Now, Arosha, you can write. Everybody can write. Right. Once you write, we can start with the rest. Yes? Yes, yes. Sir. Nello? Sir, uh, oh. in code, uh, how we can copy a program one, two, like. Mata Nello, my hand, echo, you know, where I get out. I can. Where I sound, where I am, may speaker, like a. How we can appear separate sheets like program one, two, like? Ah, right, right. Okay. <laughs> right, right. Uh, so here, if I want to get a new program, for example, already I have two programs. If I want to go for program, you see, can you see here? Uh. On the left side, yes. can you all see? You see, I can open a new program here. You see, new yes. SAS program. If I click, there's another program coming here. Okay. So you can have any number of program as you like. Because I, uh, anyone can have any number of program, right? Okay. Clicking here, SAS program, a uh, new program uh, will be coming. Okay. Right. Any questions? No, for teaching, I just uh, open up these two programs. Otherwise, I'll have to write on the erase and write, erase, write. It takes longer time. Have you all typed? Sir. Yeah. Sir, after name, uh, how to add that numerical value in a line? Like this? A line means that after Ravi, 170 and other numerical values are in a line. So uh, how we can... 67. You can't type correctly under it, right? No, no, it's in previous one. Yeah. You mean this one? Uh, yes. This one? Yes, sir. This one, if you say at that, because I don't want to confuse you, that's a, for example, this like coming like this. Are you there? Not that. that is okay. Oh, oh sir. Hmm. This, uh, that. Yadurushi, a conjum sound of ring, are a tiger. Ah, right. One by one. Yes. You can ask now. Can you come another question, Arusha? So, if you type it, you can get a message. You can get a message. You can get a message. No, no, no. I'm already typed it. You can get a message. 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 You see? You can get a message. You can you can align everyone. A lesson on ne man nikang type karen. I mean normally, even you see here, one sorry Ravi, only one space is enough. You don't need to have several space. One say one space is more than enough for SAS. Alam na mega me me matin na bula. Ang lesson ito ako nito. Only then last time I made a balanoni, I make it up. Any sa, mamma, make a little tip. 
you see we yeah. can do it like this uh, nothing wrong with the uh, pro uh, programming you see then hari the arrow shutter arrow shutter hari the then hari the arrow shutter ஒருவேஸ் <laughs> something wrong with the internet can you all see something wrong with my sas studio correct let's say that to wait something wrong with the system give me a minute you all there hello are you all there hello can you all hear me tanish kumar kek da hi kek yes sir and the valeran gaikran onsalam respond pandra illa da pa ellaram no kallu kudichittu irukra maari irukra illa pola da hmm ora answer kekkudhu ninga kadaikkala illa adu internet la edho prachana but valeran kattu kondrukkan paapam sas edho prachana avukku sir ninga kadaikkala nu kekkilla sir pa idhe maatha munnukku mirukku irundad கேக்குதா <laughs> Ah, something wrong with the system let's see uh, i something went wrong with the sas so i was thrown away from the sas let's see 
ஸ்கிரீன் Can you all see the screen now? Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Can you tell me how to do it? No, okay. Can you tell me how to do it? Yes, sir. 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 I have to switch off the video because I thought maybe some uh if you have problem just uh, tell me yeah huh now uh if you have problem tell me so that i can close the uh, so we could the... not hear you sir ah uh, i will switch off the video huh? because video is not important no? because yes sas is giving a problem uh, because of the connection problem yeah network connection problem so it is uh, coming and <clears throat> it's giving problem yeah Can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can hear. Right. What I'm going to do is uh, there's uh, some problem with the uh, connection so that I have switched off the video. Huh? My video, I have switched off. Then only we can run, I think. We will see. Uh, can you all see the... Uh, yes, sir. You all, huh? Yes, sir. We can right. see the... Right. uh we will i will read type All right uh, data mm, example example one for example then input name height i simply put uh, the uh the capitals for 
beginning of the name. Uh, can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Let me just tell you, customer, I will tell you later. Right. So here, uh, when you type this. Uh, Letters, it could be I said name, for example. So if I type N A M E, this is also correct. This is also correct. Uh, capital, there's no difference between capital and simple. Right? There's no difference between capital and simple. Uh, can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Since I yes. don't have video, I cannot see. Uh, that is all. Right. Uh, when you have problem, uh, tell me. Uh, put it on the chat. So uh, capital or simple doesn't matter. Uh, it will take uh, everything as uh, the same word. All right. So here, SAS, uh, not distinct whether it is capital or simple. Everything is same. You can type it in capital or you can type it in simple or you can type it in a mixture of capital and simple any any uppercase or lowercase whatever the case right um, right now we have this is the information initial information the first step as i said introduction first step is introduction right Second step is the data. You enter the data. The third step, we'll have to write the program. Right? Now, I'm going to write down uh, some of the programs we'll have to keep uh, in mind, all these programs. So, because at the beginning, you see here we have said the, uh, we have typed cards to indicating the computer or the program that afterwards we are entering the data. Once you finish entering the data, you'll have to put a semicolon. Right? You'll have to put a semicolon. Anyhow, I will... Okay, right. You'll have to put a semicolon. Anyhow, I will save this, no? Otherwise, it will... Maybe I will we'll say example. So you see, I'm saving. Can you all see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes. If you save it, if you save it, it will come. Why it's not coming? Says program name. I'm not sure why it has problem. Okay, let's see. Why it's identifying now only it's identifying the location. <clears throat> we'll have to say under that. Right. So under the files, you see, if you click uh, already example one is there. Can you all see? You can also save, then override again and again. 
you can again overwrite again and again like word once you give the location you can overwrite again and again the same <coughs> right now i'm going to give some commands in sas the commands are start with the, the procedure proc mean procedure proc plot Uh, <clears throat> Rania, did you learn uh, proc plot? Are you learning? Yes or no? In the example, where is Rania? Yes, <laughs> Shuttle and then the partitioning and proc command and then a partitioning and run. We already no, no, I'm asking these are the commands actually. Proc commands, there are proc commands, there are so many proc commands. So, this is the first command that I'm going to teach you proc <coughs> plot so that proc mean procedure. What is the procedure? Procedure. So I am asking to plot, plotting. So I'm going to take a plot height versus weight. So it will give a plot like this. So that is the first command. So likewise, how many commands did you learn? Anybody, anybody can type it on the uh, chat. I will look at it. What are the commands? Everybody type it. Right, so proc plot, plot height versus weight. Now there's a person running here. You can submit the program. Anybody got the results? You can submit the program. Uh, it's still running. Again, network problem. Mm. From my side, the network problem, right? So we'll have to bear with that. Anyhow, today's introduction, right? So I'm running the program. So the program is, this is what plot. You see? Can you all see the plot? Yes, sir. Right. This is uh, how the SAS giving uh, the diagram. This is called a scatter plot. Uh, can you remember in uh, uh, regression you learn scatter plot? So you see, all are giving a a a a a. What do you mean by that? Go and read uh, at the bottom. What is meant by a? Yeah, it is not given there. Can you guess what is A? Ah, A is already there. What is A? Anyone? So you see, if there is only one point, it indicate as A. If there is two points, it is indicate as B. If there is three points, it is indicating as C. So there is a, a 
overlaying of points, right? So here only one points, right? Uh, I will change the points here. I will say two values. I will change simply two values. Huh? This value is uh, 75. I change this value. 170 and 75. Because Raja and Ravi having the same values. So I run and see. You see here, two values are same. So that is why this is giving us B. The others are all are A, single observation. So what is the total number of observation? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here it is two observation. Others are one observation. Right? Others are one observation. Others are one observation. Right? You see here on y-axis height, x-axis weight. Y-axis height, x-axis weight. Now it's depend on how you give the command. Here I asked to plot. This is y-axis into x-axis. You can change this to and see, then weight will come on y-axis, height will come on x-axis. If you change this to and see, so you have to be careful which axis that you are giving. So the first axis that you are giving here, right? So it will give first axis, it is indicating y, this one indicating x. Clear? Is it clear? Right. Now, can somebody tell me <clears throat> what is the food science? Anybody from food science? Body mass index. Anybody from food science, body mass index. How do we calculate body mass index? It is equal to a weight over height square. Weight should be kilogram. Height should be in meter. Weight over? Height square. Weight is in? Kilogram. Height no. should be in meters. Meter, right. Now, because here we have, all oh, right, before, before that, I understand uh, weight divided by height square, where weight should be in kilogram, height should be in meter, right. Before that, one more thing. I didn't explain that. Now, I want to print. I'm changing the program. Huh? Look at the program, proc print. Automatically by default, it's coming so that print, proc print. Let's say variable, we put it as VAR. VAR means variable. What are the variables we want? Name, height, and weight. These are the information that we need. Right. Now I'm going to say, okay, name, height, and weight. You'll have to have same spelling as this. Huh? The spelling has to be same. It doesn't matter whether it is capital or simple. The spelling should be same. Right. Run the program and see. You will get some problem. What is that? Are you all getting like this? Yes, sir. Uh, can somebody identify? Name is not coming. 
height and the weight are coming of uh, all these uh, 12 persons, right? Weight and height are coming, but only name is missing. Why name is missing? Anyone? How many of you learn uh, programming? Not in SAS, but in other programs. What is the programming language? You might have heard about it. programming language. What is the programming language? The programming language are ASCII. Programming language is uh, called as ASCII, right? Uh, in the ASCII, uh, the the SAS also consider when you write the program ASCII coding. It has two different types of coding: numeric coding and text coding. Now you see when you talk about data, normally data <clears throat> here this is numeric coding name is not a numeric coding this is a text coding name is a text coding isn't it name is a it's not numeric it is not number it is text so that when you enter the text in the uh, program, you'll have to enter indicating the program that name is a string variable, <clears throat> dollar sign. You'll have to put a dollar sign. Name is a string variable. Right? So, whenever you have non numerical data entering, so data entering, nothing else. Others are programming. So data mean only this part. So whenever in that part, if you have non-numerical data or non-numerical information, then you will have to incorporate that dollar sign. It is the indication that we give to the uh, command saying that it is a text variable. Now you run. Now everybody is there. Name is there now. Clear? Any questions? So we can enter any type of data numeric data, text data, or character data. You heard about character data. Right, going back to the coding again. You see here. This is not in order, right? These are not in order. Uh, height and weight are not in order. Suppose I'm going to, uh, can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Right. Now I'm going to sort. You might have heard about sorting. What do you mean by sorting? Anyone? Arrange in order. Yeah, arrange in order. Maybe in a uh, uh, upper order or lower order. Doesn't matter. Normally, this one is uh, arranging in upper order. Right? Sorting. Let's see how this sorting can be done in uh, SAS. Another command. These are different commands, right? Proc sort. Today, we will talk about all these commands. Proc sort. We'll have to give according to which that you'll have to sort. By, can somebody tell me according to what? Name or height or what? You can say ascending or descending, but here uh, doesn't matter. We will order according to name or height or weight. Which one? 
uh, let's say height or oh, weight. You have to because after sorting, you have to print. Then the same command comes. Right? Same command comes. Now we can run. Excuse me, sir. Huh? Yes. Sir, can we write the program? in the same line with the two semicolon program yeah yeah uh, yeah you can write for example uh, here so you can write like this because once uh, the semicolon is there it says that that statement is over you can write like, like this this is also okay no problem in this case you can run uh, say and run and see you will get the same results Now you see, earlier, Ravi is the one which printed. Can you remember? Now, height, height or weight, we, we put it uh, according to height or weight. Uh, yeah, we sorted according to the weight so that we get the results like this. So starting from lower weight goes to upper weight by default. If it is a... Uh, a descending order will have to give the command separately, right? You see lower value, the highest value of the weight, according to the weight. You see now Gopika is the lowest weight and goes like uh, Rahim is the uh, person having highest weight in this example. So proc sort is important. Because in mean separation, that is also important. That is why I'm talking about this. Don't forget this uh, commands, different commands. Proc print, proc plot, proc sort, right? Right, now we want to get the mean values, for example. I want to get the mean variance, uh, some of the information, right? So here, as I said, log, you can click the log command and see what is happening. It is the place where the computer is working. Uh, earlier in the name, uh, log uh, always uh, there, you can click and see all the time taken for every uh, aspect, right? It is uh, giving all the information. Sometimes if it is error, it is coming in red in color. Right, now we can do some uh, other commands. I'm going to say proc univariate. This is the first command that I'm talking about. Univariate, proc univariate. <coughs> <coughs> right, prop univariate and prop. Right, a lot of information coming. Prop univariate and run. So this is the command. Everybody look at it. Prop univariate and run so in the results you could see a lot of information i will go one by one right i will go one by one so this box you see number of observation 12 observation mean value right uh, can you guess uh, the mean value of what is that Look at for which variable. Yeah, yeah. Which variable are we going to talk? This table is for height variable. Information about the height for weight, it's come at the bottom. So this is about the height, mean value, 
standard deviation, right? Sums of weight, right? Uh, sums of observation, total uh, sums of observations of weight, right? All these variance. You see, skewness and kurtosis. I mean, in the first course, we talked about uh, skewness and kurtosis. Skewness. This is called as right skew. Right. This is called as right skew. This is called as uh, symmetry. This is called as left skew. Right. So this is a right skew. This is positive skew. This is negative skew. You see here, the skewness value is minus. Minus uh, 1.26. If the skewness value goes closer to zero, uh, it is more or less symmetric. But here it is, the value is uh, minus. So that we could say this is slightly slightly left skewed or right skewed? Left, sir. Left skewed. Slightly left skewed because it has a minus uh, value. So suppose in an example, if you have minus 2.8, so it is uh, left skewed. So nothing called as a, a slightly or slightly. We could say left skewed. Similarly, if you have roughly about plus one, it is slightly uh, right skewed. If you have 2.5, something like that plus, then it is uh, uh, right skewed, well right skewed. So kurtosis, I explain how this distribution is. This is one distribution, for example, how big the peak is, right? So the other one is, for example, if another distribution, you see how the flat, the peak is, that is given by the kurtosis. We have explained uh, hypercotyle and leptocotyle and so on, right? Uh, you can uh, look at the nodes. So those are some of the uh, information. In addition to that, you get some coefficient of variation, right? Coefficient of variation that is uh, there. And also, uh, you have other informations. Again, it is a repeated mean, median, mode. That is the central location that you have, measure of center. This is measure of dispersion that you have learned. Interquartile range, this is uh, from your first course, statistics course, which I taught you, right? Interquartile range, what do you mean by interquartile range, anyone? How to calculate? Fifty percentage, twenty percentage. Huh? Interquartile range. How do you call? In, how do you get Q. value? Anyone? Quartile, sir. Twenty-three percentage. No. Q3 interquartile Q3. range. How do we calculate? Q three minus Q one. Exactly. Q three minus Q one. Interquartile range. So this Q3, Q minus, it is down there. We can see all these. So here, we don't want uh, this table. We will explain this table a little later. It is basically to talk about uh, one sample t-test. We will come to that later. We don't want to talk about now. You see, here the quartiles are there. Q3 is already there. Q1 is there, Q2 is there. You see, Q1, Q2, Q3. We can request if you want to have any quartile values so that it would be possible, right? Then some of the additional information coming in the old uh, SAS, it doesn't give uh, some of the observation, total number of observation, uh, and uh, the lowest and the highest, uh, few lowest and the highest values, extreme observation.
this is not outlier this is just a observation right uh, this is just a observation uh, if you have any problem listening tell me well, yeah, i will switch off my camera mm, so these are some of the observations so first observation some highest value <coughs> high values so these are some of the high values these are some of the low values these are indicating which observations are they just to indicate right so nothing uh, to do with uh, our uh, situation mm, we have fine with the explanation similarly we can talk about the second variable that is a weight variable we, we get all the information for weight uh, similarly because here we have only two variables no? numerical variable only weight and the height so you get all the information for the weight and the height right any questions on this so this is a simple uh, technique to find out uh, uh, the uh, the plots. Any questions? <coughs> Any questions? <coughs> we'll take a couple of minutes break. I will have a, a cup of tea and cup.
Shall we continue? Uh, hello. Okay. All right. Who is having a clear uh, internet connection with the uh, laptop uh, with the SAS? Me, sir. Right. You you share the screen. SAS. Okay, sir. I will I will stop sharing. First, I will stop sharing. Wait. Now you can share. Everybody is in, right? I need all the data. Who is having all the data? Hmm? You can include uh, some more because then only we can. All right. Right. Okay. Right. So here. Uh, for example, uh, in this case, uh, I'm, I'm also writing, huh? that is right. Uh, here, can you all didn't say anything? Right? Yeah. So here, for example, this statement is not necessary. It depends why why it is there. Why did you put that statement? If you put a uh, more sample. No, not this is not necessary. Reason is uh, if the if you are working with the file already, which is already in the computer, we can name those file. And thereafter, we can run. So this is uh, not necessary to keep this because this is a small data. No? If it is a large data, we don't enter. We simply keep the file somewhere there. We name it ABC or whatever it is. Then we take it. Otherwise, uh, not necessary. It's uh, right. Uh, right. Any. Uh, so now we are going to calculate the BMI. Can you calculate the BMI? What is the formula for BMI? Can you stop sharing with Ushan? I will, I will talk about BMI and then come. Vidushan, can you stop sharing? I will come to it. Yeah, good. Right. Now you see, I'm going to calculate the BMI. Because BMI is based on overweight or underweight, right? So I want to calculate the BMI. So for that, let us introduce new variable. So any variable can be introduced under the input statement before cards. So I'm going to introduce BMI. What is the formula of BMI? Somebody said, which divided by? 
height weight of weight of a height weight w a i g h t weight over height height squared height squared Sir, sir, not whole thing squared, sir. Height squared, sir. Yeah, that is what I am planning. Bejaria. Ah, okay, sir. Hmm. Do you think is still it is correct? Do you think still it is correct? Want to put the semicolons? Yeah, that is one thing. What else? What else? Want we put the that integer value, sir? Which integer? Height in meter. Ah, uh, height should be in meter. But here, height is it in meter? No, sir. Centimeter. So how we can change this height into centimeter? Meter. Divide by. Hundred. Am I right? Yes. yes. Sir. Hmm. Right. Prop print. We can remove the univariate. Ella monda chaya vanna mar vidushan. You have to try one by one, na? Because you don't know the results. Which results is? Uh, coming under the which procedure that you don't know. So we'll have to run one program at a time. I will show you how to write, for example, a proc univariate. So we have, we want to write a new program, for example, new, we want to suppress. If you want to suppress, for example, I write new program, proc, print prop print we can give the name variable we can uh, if you don't print it we will see we will see what is the problem right so here we can give a command Look at to suppress only that statement. <coughs> only we have suppressed uh, that statement because we don't want uh, again and again this univariate. <coughs> so now I have suppressed this command. Otherwise, what will happen? Vidarshan, Vidarshan, no. <coughs> if you add all the commands, it will give uh, 100 pages of uh, output. You don't know which output is belongs to which uh, procedure commands. So now it is suppressed. Now it is suppressed. All right? Look at uh, when you start suppress, backslash asterisk. When you finish the statement, asterisk, backslash. Right? Now I'm going to run and see. Sorry. Now you see what is uh, 
we are getting the same results, print. What do we want now? Only print command will. No, what is missing here now? BMI. Huh? Yes. BMI. Ah, we have calculated something, but that is uh, missing here. BMI is missing. So you see, if you just say prop print, nothing, I mean, only the data that we have in that will be printed, nothing else. For example, you see here, prop print. We didn't name the variable to print. What are the variables? So it will automatically print because here we have only three variables that we have entered. It will print only those three variables, nothing else. This is the new variable that we have calculated, BMI. So now what we'll have to do, we'll have to give an instruction, new instruction to the computer or the software. Now we want to print so many things. Let's say variable name, uh, H -E -I -G -H -T, height, weight, and I want to print the BMI also. Semicolon. Right? Run and see. So something wrong with the calculate, I think. Uh, here, the something wrong, you can see some error, it's showing some error. BMI is not found. Yes, maybe I have given the wrong name. All right. Did I give a wrong name? Why it is? Caps, they caps. Not really caps. I'm also not sure because the height and weight are not with the caps, you know. Yeah, maybe I am not sure because of the uh, new uh, results not coming. Just a second. Huh? BMI not found. Maybe in the calculation, some error would have been occurred. So let's see. Wait. BMI is equal weight W I G H T T I G H T. No spelling mistake, right? Look at for the spelling mistake. Do we have a spelling mistake? No. Hmm. Did anybody got the answer? Check uh, for the spelling. We'll try this huh? because, uh, right, that is the problem. You see here, because sometimes, you know, <clears throat> sometimes it works uh, with that also. You see here, uh, I said the, BMI is equal weight divided by height, whole thing square. How to write this height, for example? In our case, height divided by 100 because we want to get the uh, height in uh, meter, so that we divided by 100. Then this square, we <coughs> usually write as uh, upper arrow <coughs> into two, that is square. But in certain cases, this upper arrow doesn't work so that we have to put double asterisk. That may be the reason. So I have put double stack, uh, asterisk, so that means square. Right? Right, now submit and you got the answer. Let's look back to the answer. So you see, you have BMI also in addition to that. So I have just uh, earlier, how many variables are there? How many variables here in this case? How many variables that we have entered? How many variables are there? 
name, height, weight. Three variable that we have. Yes. Three variable. Now you see we have created the fourth variable. What is the fourth variable? BMI. You see? So we can create variables. BMI. Right? So here now we have four variables, not three. First variable name, weight, sorry, uh, height, weight, and the BMI. Four variables. We can create variables. Right? We can create new variable. For example, <clears throat> if you want to create variable, let's say group. Here I have age, here I have height. So I have age, age of a plant, for example, days after planting. This is uh, height. So let's say days after planting, uh, five days, height is in centimeter, right? Days after planting, five, this is, uh, let's say, seven centimeter, 10, 15, 20, uh, 25, 30, likewise. So we have uh, uh, 7, 10, 12, uh, 15, 18, 22, as an example, uh, height. Now I am entering only these two variables. I am entering these two variables. Now I can enter, there's another variable, third variable, since I don't have a space, I'm entering uh, here, the third variable, new variable, I can get it as, all right, growth rate. How to calculate growth rate? Is it clear what I'm spoke, speaking? Hmm? Days after planting, uh, 5, 10, 15, as an example, 20, 25, 30. So this is uh, height. 7 centimeter, 10 centimeter, 12 centimeter, 15 centimeter, 15 centimeter, 22 centimeter, and goes height. We are measuring height and the days after planting of a crop. Now I can create a new variable, growth rate, height growth rate. Can somebody tell me some mathematical formula how to get the height growth rate? Change in height, height over uh, height difference over day of planting. Tell, tell me what is the value? How we can give the formula for this? Per day. Huh? How can we give the formula? Formula in the SAS? Height over DAP, sir. Height over. Is it Sharivira? Sharivira. Because uh, we want to growth rate, uh, we want to, this is for each sector. First five days, next five days, next five days. Think about it. We cannot calculate in two steps. We may have to. Insert it in uh, two steps. Uh, no, we cannot calculate in one step sometimes. So we can, you see, third variable we can create. Whatever the variable we can create, right? Right. So uh, if you if you know the formula, we can apply directly, right? So uh, we'll have to have some some kind of. Uh, 
mathematical concept right so you can create any any variable as you like that is what i want right right i think we have a time so that uh, we can do a simple uh, analysis of uh, first sample can you can somebody read the question of the uh, first uh, i mean what is the uh, uh, do you have the question paper anyone question paper uh, third year question paper huh? basic statistics uh, question paper anyone you can really see the answers piomi question paper at the end of that third year i am asking third year one not maybe you one maybe you are one or maybe uh, you are seniors one doesn't matter third year one three one basic statistics because i want to start from analysis of one sample t test two sample t test and so on arosha tilini I, uh, who is having? Because somebody has to have. Nelu, you know. Rania, Bagya, Anushalini. Quick, we are wasting no, time. Huh? Who is having Anushalini? I don't have. Ah, yeah. Who is having? Three one statistics tip. Yes, yes, three one statistics. Yes, question paper only have no answer. Mm -hmm. Question? Question pay questions on this. Vlangel. Sir, curly paper matanani. Ridan the way. Angle of the way. I'm a curly you'll have water but I can do you. Passing up on curly. One sample T test on the washing work. Curly washing. You read the question. Salinity level of irrigation water. Ah, right. So, yes, read the, read the uh, question. Salinity level of irrigation water mm. could be measured as electrical conductivity. Mm. In this is semen per meter unit. Okay. A farmer decided okay. to measure the level of salinity in mm. 10 randomly selected water samples. Okay. The recorded electrical conductivity levels in desi semen per meter are given below. below. Yeah, yeah. Give me the data. 2.8. Mm -hmm. 3.1. Hello, Warren. 2.8, again, 2.8 again, sir. Okay. 2.9. Mm. 3.0. Mm. 2.7. Mm. 2.6. Mm. 2.7. Mm. 3.2. You can uh, see on the screen as well, no? I am typing. Hmm. Uh, 2.9. See whether all the uh, data are correct. I will uh, type uh, uh, 2.8, 3.1, uh, 2.8, 2.9, okay. 3.0, 2.7, 2.6, 2.7, 3.2, 2.9. Okay, sir, correct. Right. So input. Uh, uh easy i will put it as easy uh at sign i will put that sign because i have entered the data continuously you see sorry enter the data continuously so i'm cut right so after entering the data uh, then we can univariate
ground. That's all. Right? Look at very carefully. So this, this is the simple, because we'll have to correct some of the things. We will do it later. So this is the simplest command. Check whether the data are correct. Huh? So one space between data is more than enough in every case. Right, have you all got it? We can run it now. I'm going to run it, okay. Have you all got the information? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, so I will run it. <clears throat> so I will run it. Uh, you see here we have only one variable EC, right? Electrical conducted. So I gave the name as EC. So you could see here EC. So the following tables are important. So this first table we have already explained. How many samples? This is the mean value, standard deviation, skewness, uh, uh, variance, uh, kurtosis, uh, and so on. Right. So first table is not uh, important for us. Uh, second table it gives the uh, descriptive statistics. It gives the descriptive statistics we learn already. The third table is the most important table for us, right? Third table is the most important for us, right? You see here, test location is mu is equal, mu naught is equal zero. What is mu naught? Can you remember? This is what it says, mu naught is equal zero. So that means mu is equal zero. Null hypothesis, it is testing always with the zero value. Alternative, we can test with any value. Either it is not equal to zero, or it is greater than zero, or it is less than zero. Right? Now, see, is it uh, uh, Tanush Kumar, read the remaining? Yes, sir. Remaining question? If the electrical conductivity content of the water is more than three decisemen per meter, hmm. it is not suitable for irrigation. Once again, more than three decisemen? Decisemen per meter. Uh, if it is more than three decisemen per meter, it is not, not uh, suitable for irrigation, right? Okay. Okay. Test whether the water could be used for irrigation purpose using alpha 0 0.05. Okay, so this is my null and the alternative hypothesis. This is my null and the alternative hypothesis, isn't it? I want to test whether mu is equal to 3. If it is mu is equal to 3, that means automatically mu is less than or equal to 3. If it is less than or equal to 3, what is good, we can irrigate it. If it is, if the mu is more than three, then what is bad? So here, what is good in another case, here we could say what is bad or not good, isn't it? That is how we say. But only problem is, is it uh, our mu value here by default, this univariate is always testing with the mu value zero. Mu value zero. Therefore, it's no point of testing with the mu value zero. Therefore, we want to change this mu value, isn't it? We will go back and change into mu so that uh, I'm going to. Uh, Sorry, I made a mistake. Yeah. I'm going to suppress that uh, command. Right.
So I'm going to write a new command proc key test. So this is a more specific test. Proc key test variable ec, my variable ec. We will run and see. Sir, if it is one variable, well, sorry, we want to put, sir. Ah, uh, pardon? If it is one variable, want to put the EC is compulsory, sir? Yeah, yeah. Here, uh, compulsory. Variable is uh, compulsory, yes. Because here we are doing a testing, right? We we'll have to specify the variable. You can try and see. It. I didn't try it, but uh, you can try and see. Uh, just uh, check uh, first uh, whether it is giving the answer. Some again internet problem, I think. I will remove. Can you all hear me? Yes, sir. All oh, right. We have some internet problem. Okay. So I'm getting a t-test here. Look at, uh, this is the output. Are you all are getting the same output? Yes. Right. Here you all are getting the same output. Only problem here, uh, you see here we have the t-test, sorry, this table, this, uh, look at these three tables. This is giving the very summary information about that EC, mean standard deviation, and also confidence interval. You see 95% confidence interval. You know what is confidence interval, right? So this is the 95% confidence interval, uh, standard deviation, et cetera, et cetera. But only thing is uh, here, here the hypothesis value, it is again testing with zero. Can you remember hypothesis value? It is always testing with zero, null hypothesis value. So we want to ask the computer to test with the value, something like this, three. So we can go back, right? And change the command. A small command has to be changed. After the property test, we say it's not is equal. What is our null hypothesis value? It's not mean null hypothesis. Three, three, three. Right? And also we can specify our alpha. What is our alpha usually? This is our alpha usually. Zero point zero five. Zero five. Right, look at very carefully, proc t test. Now we specify our null hypothesis. In early cases, uh, it is taking the null hypothesis as zero. So with zero, we don't want to test it. You already the mean value is 2.8 or something like that. So no point of testing with zero, right? Excuse me, sir, the, excuse ah, me, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Null hypothesis, sir, uh, equal to zero or Equal, uh, less earlier, than, earlier. Less, less earlier it was null hypothesis uh, equal to zero. Cyber, uh, the test panel is cyber kedra. Ipananga test panel moon to kedra. Right? Okay? Right. Because we want to test uh, our test value is three. Now you see, compare the p value earlier and now. You can compare the p value earlier and now huh? because I'm showing. Look at this. Other tables are same in earlier case. Look at this. This table is totally different compared to the earlier one. Is it? Earlier one, I, I don't know whether I can get it. Uh, yes. Can you all check it? See? Right. Now, this is what we want to test, right? This table is the one we want to test. We will discuss this table now. So this table, the basic information, these two tables, 
take this table. So my null hypothesis mu is equal to 3, alternative mu greater than 3. That is what we want to test. So it is a one tail or two tail. I'm just asking the first course. Huh? Everything is uh, evaporated. Huh? How many of you are you got A? One tail. One tail, yes. This is a one tail test. So depend on my formulation of hypothesis. This we can say one tail test. So this is the table that one. Degrees of freedom, everybody knows. This is the T calculated value. Can you remember T calculated value is minus 2.18, right? Minus 2.18, okay? Because uh, it's giving a minus, but is it a left tail test or right tail test? Left, sir. Yeah. How come? By looking at this, Mu greater than three. Mu greater than three mean it is the right tail test. But our calculated value is coming in minus. That is, that doesn't matter. This is a right tail test. Now, this probability, look at this, pro uh, where it is. Yeah, probability value. This is not. Look at the probability value. This is the probability value. This is probability value for two tail. This is the probability value. What is the value? 0 0.0575. This is for two tail. This is for two tail situation. Clear? Any questions? This is for two tail situation. Okay. Right. If you are looking at for one tail, what should be done? If you are looking at uh, for one tail, right? Just a second, uh, CL, uh, yes, marginally inside, yes. Yeah? Anyone? If it is for one tail, uh, I don't know whether, have you done SPSS? Have you done this uh, probability values for SPSS? I will describe. SPSS, what is it? SPSS, what is the method? I don't hear. Yes, sir, we hear. Ah, yeah, yeah, but I don't hear anything from you. <laughs> I asked whether did you learn SPSS? Yes, sir. In, um, in SPSS, did you do one sample T test, two sample T test, and so on? Yes, sir. Ah, so you might have seen a probability value. This is called as probability value. probability value. So this is called as probability value. So uh, did you learn this probability value? I mean, what do you mean by this probability value? So this probability value, it will give the exact probability value. This is called as exact probability value. Right, so we want to see <coughs> whether is this an accepting range? Yes. yes, where it is falling. 
I didn't, I didn't get, I didn't get uh, your comments. Just a second. I want to go back uh, just a second. Yes, go ahead. So this table actually, this, this is called as exact probability. Right, I will put it as exact probability. So that is the probability, this is the T value. So based on this, uh, let's say our null hypothesis is uh, mu is equal three. Uh, if you can remember the formula, uh, 2.87, here I have the mean value, minus three divided by standard error of estimate. So 0 0.0597. So, so what is the answer here? It should be equal to minus 2.18, see? Can somebody calculate this value and tell me? Minus 2.177. Minus 2 yeah, it is giving computer giving. So that is the calculated value actually, right? That is the calculated value. So based on this, right? Based on this, uh, we could say, we could say, you see my P value, 0 0.0575 based on this my p value is that suppose if i take my alpha value as 0 0.05 what can you say about comparing these two values which value is higher is that alpha value is higher or p value is higher our rejecting rule is if Alpha value is higher than the p value, then we reject our null hypothesis. If our alpha value is less than the p value, we do not reject our null hypothesis. These are some of the information write down. Huh? These are some of the information write down. So this is the rule, rejection rule. This is the rejection rule. Probability means a significant value also. Probability and rather is the exact Tara value. So in the alpha Korea, in the in the uh, example Korea, in the data Korea, probability value is the term. Exact term. Exact it is called as exact probability because here we don't look at the table. So this probability it gives the exact probability value. For example, you see here. My my probability value is let's say uh, this is this red color area is zero point zero five seven five, right? But my alpha, if I take my alpha as zero point zero five as the area, that area is something like this zero point zero five. Is it? So some area is not falling in alpha area. Some area is outside the alpha area. Do you agree? Okay, sir. So that is how we look at it. Look at another example. Uh, let's say my p value is. It's not writing, yes. My p value is 0 0.4, uh, 0.45. My p value is 0 0.045. Alpha is uh, same thing, 0 0.05. Now if I draw it, so let's say this is my 0 0.045 area. 
that is the probability coming from the output. My alpha is slightly away, this area. So within the alpha, is it included, this probability value, or not included? Within the alpha, it is included. Not in so here, if within the alpha, this p value is included, here we have reject our null hypothesis. In this case, do not reject. If it is in the rejecting region, we can accept NUS. Not rejecting region because here it's both both cases, it's giving the area. So if the area of the alpha is higher than the P, that is what I said. If the area of alpha is higher than the P, then we can reject. If the area of the alpha is less than the P, then we cannot reject, right? Is it clear to everyone? So you see here our P value, if you look at the P value here, what is the P value? P value is uh, higher than the alpha value. Therefore, we do not reject our null hypothesis. So another term, we accept our null hypothesis. So what do you think about when you accept our null hypothesis? Whether the water is suitable for irrigation or not suitable for irrigation? Suitable. Suitable for irrigation. Water is suitable for irrigation. In this case, as an example, right? So we can we can interpret in uh, different ways, right? Any questions? I think we have already come to the conclusion. Uh, any questions? We can continue tomorrow. Uh, get your all data, uh, all papers, and uh, uh, CRD design, RCBD design that you have already done. Uh, then some factorial design, all these we can do it. We will see all the practical data that has uh, appearing on your exam paper, so we can see. Right, any questions? Any questions? If not, uh, we will meet uh, tomorrow morning, right? Uh, tomorrow morning, any problem with other classes and so on? Or is it okay? No. Hmm? No, sir. 8 to 10, eight to ten. as usual, your time okay. Hey, 8 to 10, huh? We will meet tomorrow at 8 to 10. Right. See you all.